Hi, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert, and today we're going to take a look at the Acon Digital Deverberate. This is a plugin that helps you to reduce the reverb from existing recorded material. And the way it does it is it basically separates the direct sound from the reverb sound. And you do that with these settings here, and then you've got control over the direct dry sound and the sound that Deverberate considers to be reverb. Now, unlike other products, there's no learn feature. We just start playing audio, and what they recommend is to turn the reverb level right down or just have it off. So this button here, when it's lit, there's audio passing, so you could just turn the knob right down, or you can just turn it off altogether. So now we're hearing just the dry output. And the other thing that's really important is the settings for the reverb time and the reverb level. So the reverb time you need to adjust to what you think the decay time of the reverb you're trying to reduce is. And then also the level of the reverb in the signal. So this really comes out more like a threshold control. So again, the best thing to do is to turn that right down to start with. And then there are a number of presets. So consider one of the presets that is closest to what you want to do. So in this first instance, what I want to do is to reduce the whole reverb. I'll just bypass it and you can take a listen to what we're dealing with here. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium. So there was an interview recording in quite a reverberant space. So we'll take the bypass off take the reverb level right down and we will start bringing this up he sang he gave concerts uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress you see here now that now just getting to the point where it's starting to have an impact where paul robeson he sang, he gave concerts. Uh, so if I overdo it, the day, then obviously we start to get artifacts. For rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on so industrial Just check the injuries, bypass. Especially that of the mind. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts. Uh, but during the day... It There's also this emphasis filter which we can enable and disable here. So we'll have that on. And you've got a low shelving filter, the red one. We've got a high shelving filter. And then we've got two parametric type equalizers. So we can create quite a complex shape. So I'm going to start playing the audio. And I'm going to play with this one because there's quite a bit of low mid reverb. And so by pushing Wilson. this... He sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for... I can focus it on that audio. ...because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. So here we are with bypass. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but... And the other thing the day, we can do is to adjust the spectral smoothing. So let's just bring Paul that up Robeson, a bit. Just to try and get rid of some of the artifacts. Uh, but during the day, it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. And another feature in this plugin is the ability to use the difference monitoring. So this is what it's taking away. But during the day, it was a gymnasium. So again, that can sometimes help you make the adjustments. Progress being made now so we're only taking away the reverb elements. So we'll take that difference back off. Where Paul Robeson, uh, he sang, he gave concerts, uh, but during the day it was a gymnasium for rehabilitation for the patients because progress was being made now on industrial injuries, especially that of the minor. So that's one example of uh, deverberate 
being able to help dry up what was quite a reverberant recording. Now the next clip I'm going to play is different. So here we've got the presets. So what I'm going to do is just reset it. And we're going to select this clip. And this is a very, very different recording. So I'll just put bypass. She was born in 19, June 1923, the second of two children. Here with her. So it was recorded in a small church, but the mic wasn't particularly close. So we've got quite a lot of ambience and acoustic. So what I'm going to do here is to start off with the reduce ambient preset. And you can see here that the RT time is quite short. And so again, we'll just bring that reverb level down quite a lot. And we'll bring the smoothing down. So let's take a listen and see how we get on. So we'll just turn the bypass off and we'll start playing. She was born in 19, June 1923, the second of two children, here with her older brother John. Her father died when she was young, but her mother helped her pursue her I'm Just getting some artifacts. She was so let's just use the smoothing. Graduated from high school at age 14, a whiz at maths and science, but far too young to appreciate much of the literature. And just listen and to how the ambience to. drops. Despite her brilliance, there was never any question of her going to university. A woman, the daughter of a widow on a tight budget, and with war breaking out when she was 16, her only option was to marry. So there we go, there's two examples of how we can use Acon Digital's Deverberate to reduce the reverb and ambience in existing recordings. And I have to say, for the price, it's absolutely amazing. It's normally just a shade under $100, and when you compare that to the price of any of the other de-reverb type plugins, this is an amazing price. And as you've heard, it works remarkably well. See you again soon.